Want to see more of this little red truck sign wreath? Keep watching! Okay, so we're going to go to Dollar Tree and get a bunch of ribbon. And we're also going to get this little red sign. It's the little red truck that everybody loves. Then I also have a thrifted round there, embroidery hoop, some thrifted thick yarn, and some picks on the side. So we're just going to pull the other pieces off and just have the red truck by itself. I'm going to take this yarn or cording, whichever you want to call it, I'm going to tie it at the top and just start wrapping and we're going to wrap and wrap and wrap. A rather monotonous process. At some point I got aggravated with the spool <laughs> and I decided to just cut it off. You have to be careful when you do that so you don't wind up having to patch a bunch and I actually do have to patch it close to the end. You'll see the ribbon up there in the right corner and that's the ribbon I used on another project. Okay so here we go. I'm going to add some glue here and glue this end down neatly as possible. Then I'm going to add on another piece. Just going to use my clamp to hold it there for a minute so it doesn't try to unwind. And then I'm going to start a new little section here and wrap it around and then glue it down. I don't know what I was thinking with that, that little piece that looks like a tassel. I thought maybe I could work it into the project in some way, but you'll see later on what I do with that. All right, so I just snipped it off what I didn't need. Now I'm going to add some more ribbon to this. This black and white checkered ribbon also came from Dollar Tree. I think it was in their fall section. It's important to have a good pair of scissors when you are cutting this stuff. It'll make life so much easier. Okay, so what you see me doing there is dovetailing. What what I've told you about before, you're just cutting a little V into the ends. And then I found some red, kind of a fall colored red that we're going to add on there too. Here is some raffia that I believe I thrifted. I've had it for a long time. I'm just going to measure those pieces in eight pieces, just like the ribbons length. Loop it a few times and then cut it off. And we're going to add that to the stacks. Three stacks means three bows. Okay. And you will be so proud to know that I actually got in the camera this time right in the lens where you could see what I'm doing so enjoy it may never happen again now I'm working on it I'm gonna get it right I promise you 25 plus videos I'm finally getting the hang of it I think so we're just squeezing those bunching them together taking a little scrap of jute Wrapping it around the center. Try to make sure you have the same amount on both sides before you tie it so that you don't have a lopsided bow. There. You're going to need to tie a knot in it or it will come loose. But this jute cord from Dollar Tree is pretty strong and you get a lot on the spool so it'll last a long time. Pieces that you cut off can be saved and used in other projects too. There's another one. And then I'm working on the last one. So opinions. What do you think about the little trucks? Do you like the red trucks, blue trucks, green, white, black? Are you do you like truck the little trucks at all? Or are you done with it? And what about that black and white check ribbon? They're still putting out lots of 
black and white and red trucks. So I'm just curious to see, is it something that you still like? Or do you think it's, it's finding its way to the door? Is it going out? Because Hobby Lobby and Michaels have not gotten a clue yet, if that is the case. Okay, so we need to attach the truck to the wreath. And I'm going to use some pipe cleaners on the side with hot glue and a little piece of ribbon to hold it down. So we're going to take our little fall truck full of pumpkins on a ride through the woods, maybe to a farm, maybe to a pumpkin patch. So we're going to put some of these leaves on there. I'm going to surround it with leaves. I'm taking a Dollar Tree pick. I'm going to open it, bend it down the middle, and then just put it right behind the truck, right against the wreath. And we're going to use a zip tie. You can also get the zip ties at Dollar Tree. And just attach that right on there. and clip off the extra. Now it's just a matter of deciding where you want to place your three bows. I'm using the jute that I tied it with to tie it around. And in case you don't have twist ties, or you don't have zip ties, or you don't have Chanel cleaners, I wanted to show you that you can actually use the jute to tie things down. A double knot will keep it in, in place pretty well. I'm going to put one here under the truck too. And just, you know, keep in mind that this is not something that you would want to put on a glass door because you could see it from the inside. So, you know, this would be something you would put on a solid surface, like a solid door or on your wall or something like that so that you don't have to see the back of it. You can use a different type of wreath if you want to do it on a glass door. Then you just fluff out your bows, pull the layer that's underneath around so you get more of a circular form, and then just bend, kind of bend and bow the edges to make it look nice. And this is something that you can do at the very end, but I just have a thing about fluffing bows, so I feel like you need to touch every piece of ribbon. And when you're doing arrangement, you should touch every piece. There should be some type of contact and consciousness in what you're doing. Be aware of placement and, you know, just make everything look nice and neat the way you want it to look. So now I've taken the pumpkin pick that was thrifted from Goodwill and I'm just going to hot glue it straight down right in between those bows. And I wanna put a few extra leaves that I had. They didn't come off of this pick, but they're similar enough in color. So I'm just gonna tuck those in and some berries that came off the same pick as the pumpkins. I add another one up there to the top to balance it a little bit better. And then add a few more berries. Sometimes it's the little touches that make it, you know, that really warm up a piece. And when you're doing rustic or farmhouse, you know, or I guess I should say rustic farmhouse, you want to have warmth and intention and, you know, you want to have that all there in your piece. So see, I glued that down and cut that little hangy piece down. Okay, so here is the finished result. That little piece of cord that's hanging from the top is up there to cover up the uh, the part where the screw is. Actually, if you wanted to, you could turn the entire wreath sideways and put your truck right on top of that and you would never see it at all. But I went ahead and, and decided that might be cute to put that there. So I just looped it around and put knots in the end. That's that scrap that I had left from before. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate everybody who subscribes. Give it a like if you're interested in this type of thing and come back and see me. I'll see you soon. Bye.